Hi friends, my name is Angelique and I am going to guide you through a chakra balancing flow today. So we will open up all of the areas of the body for the seven major chakras, ranging from the base of your spine to the crown of your head, which is the energy center that you've been learning about. And this is a sample of how you can teach a class centered around one or all of the chakras. So we'll go through some poses related to each chakra, and I will call them out as we arrive. So you can begin today, before you begin, you will need one to two blocks. Um, if you don't have blocks at home, invest in some. But if you don't have them now, you can always use a pillow for today's purposes. Um, a nice burnt pillow would work. So we'll get started in a supported bridge pose, which means that you'll come down to your back. Bring your feet about hips width distance apart and your toes point forward. Lift your hips up and slide your block on either the low or the medium height underneath your sacrum. And then just let your arms rest down by your side. You can close your eyes here if that feels right or look down at the tip of your nose. Take a few centering breaths as you ground down into your feet and into your arms. Notice where your shoulders rest on the mat. Long deep inhalation and long full exhalation. Now begin to scan your body, starting at the base of your spine. Notice if there's any tension there. And with your exhale, start to let that tension go. Inhale, breathe in energy to your sacral chakra, located in the sacral plexus or the hip region. Allow any tension to soften towards the floor. Release anything that you're holding on to with your out breath. Now bring your awareness up into your solar plexus, your power chakra, near your sternum. Do you feel any discomfort, any digestive issues there? Imagine those problems leaving your body with your exhale. Bring your awareness up to your heart chakra. Feel the air moving in and out of your lungs as your heart beats in your chest. Let go of anything that is causing your heart to shut down, to close off, to not be open to the possibilities. And then bring your awareness up into your throat chakra, your seat of communication. Relax your jaw, relax your tongue, breathe here. If there was something you should have said or should not have said in your day to day, see if you can let it go with your out breath. And then bring your awareness to your third eye chakra, located in the center of your forehead, just above your brows. This is your seat of intuition. Breathe into your third eye. If your third eye feels blocked, let go of any blockages, any cloudiness. Release it with your exhale. And finally, bring your awareness up to your crown chakra at the top of your head. Imagine a light above your head. Watch as that light moves down from the crown of your head over your face, cloak 
helps you over your shoulders, your chest, your belly. Watch as this light envelops you through your hips, down your spine, over your legs, your knees, and your feet. Know that this light is connecting you to the universal energy. Tap into that energy on your mat today. Take your time to set an intention for your practice. It could be to focus on any one of the seven chakras we just mentioned, or perhaps it's to dedicate your practice to the universal energy. Whatever calls to you, say your intention quietly to yourself, and we'll seal these intentions with three cleansing and clarifying breaths. Take a deep inhale through your nose. All the mouth exhale, let it go. And again, inhale through your nose. Open your mouth and sigh it out. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Press into your feet. Lift your hips up off the block. Slide the block off to the side. Keep your hips lifted in your bridge pose. Notice what you notice. Engage your glutes, engage your inner thighs. Reach your arms straight up towards the ceiling. Take your left fingertips in your right hand and pull your fingertips back towards your face for a stretch into your palm and your wrist. And then switch hands. Take your left hand to your right fingertips. Pull your right fingertips in towards your face. Don't forget about your thumb. Then interlace the fingers of both hands. Press your palms up towards the ceiling. Keep your seat lifted. Engage your glutes. Take another inhale here. And exhale. Release everything down to the floor. Nice and slow. Good. Hug both knees in towards your chest. Start to rock a little bit side to side here to massage your low back. Then keep your right knee hugging in towards your chest. Extend your left leg out long on your mat. Take the movement through your right foot, ankle, toes. And draw your right knee across your body for the twist. Bring your right arm out to a T or goal post your arm. You can look up towards the ceiling or you can look over your right shoulder if that feels better in your mat. Notice what you notice, never trying to force anything, just allowing your leg to soften towards the mat. Inhale, bring your knee back up to center, give it another squeeze, and then send it out long on your mat. Hug your left knee in towards your left shoulder, take the movement through your foot, your ankle, your toes. Starting to stretch into the psoas muscles here. And then bring your right hand to your left knee and draw your knee across your body for the twist. Look out over your left shoulder if that feels good. Or if it's not available in your neck today, you can look up towards the ceiling. Notice the difference between your arm out straight and your arm bent and how it works into different areas of the shoulder. Inhale, bring your knee back up to center and hug your right knee in to meet your left knee once again. We're going to start our practice here by warming up the core or your solar plexus chakra. So we'll begin by taking your right ankle on top of your left knee. Your left foot can come to the floor to start. Interlace your fingers behind your head, elbows out wide. Take an inhale here and as you exhale, crunch up. Pull your belly button in so your low belly is pressing down into the mat. Take another inhale. As you exhale, twist to the right. Left elbow comes towards your right knee. Try not to bring your right knee towards your left elbow, but rather twist from your oblique. Inhale takes you back to center. And exhale, lower your head and your shoulders. We'll move through that movement several times a little bit faster. Inhale, lift you up. Exhale, twist right. 
Inhale, center, exhale, twist right, center, right, center, right. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. You're here just for eight, seven, last six. You've got five, just four, last three, two, and one. Pause here. Reach your arms out past your right knee and pulse, pulse, pulse. Little tiny pulses just for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it back to center. Lower your head and your shoulders. Woo! I bet you felt that. I know I did. Drop your right knee down, I'm sorry, right foot down to the floor. Take your left ankle to your right knee. Flex your toes to protect your knee. Inhale to lift up your head and your shoulders. Exhale, twist to the left. Once again, we're lifting up off the left shoulder blade rather than bringing the knee closer to the chest. Take an inhale here and exhale. Inhale takes you back to center. Exhale, lower your head and your shoulders. We'll take it a little faster on this side. Inhale, lifts you up. Exhale, twist left. Center, left. Center, left. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. You're here for eight. Last seven. You've got six. Just five. Take it for four. Last three. Two, and one. Pause here, reach your arms out past your left knee, and pulse, pulse, pulse. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hands behind your head, turn back to center, lower your head and your shoulders. Hug your knees in towards your chest, rock a little side to side. Hopefully that solar plexus chakra is a fired up now with its element of fire. Bring your hands behind your thighs. Start to rock forward and backwards along the length of your spine, rolling like a ball, massaging your back until you gain enough momentum to come up to a seat, cross your ankles, and come to your first tabletop position. Shoulders over wrists hips over knees, toes untouched. We'll start with a flat back here. Inhale, cow pose. Drop your belly, chest comes forward, gaze comes forward. That might feel really nice after all of that core work. Exhale, cat pose. Pull your belly button towards your spine as though a string were pulling you up from the center of your back. Inhale, cow pose. Drop your belly and look forward, spread your collarbones wide. Exhale, cat pose, round your back like an angry cat. Inhale for cow. And exhale for cat. Continue to move like this as, in, as quickly or as slowly as you like. Doing whatever feels right in your body. Maybe it's taking some additional mo movements moving organically in whatever way feels good to you to wake up your spine, your shoulders, maybe even your wrists by turning your fingertips back to face your knees. So whatever feels right, we'll be here just for five, meeting in a neutral spine in four, tabletop in three, Fingertips face forward in two, hips over knees in one. Inhale, reach your right arm up towards the ceiling, look towards your thumb, roll out your wrist here, circle in one direction and then in the other. Exhale, thread the needle, right arm on your left. Lower down to your right shoulder or your right temple. You might stay here. You might walk your left hand out to the top edge of your mat, revolving deeper through your torso. Perhaps this is enough today, or maybe you extend your left leg back behind you. If you'd like to continue to engage your core, as you should throughout class, you can lift your left leg up 
off the mat. Maybe bend your left knee for a little quad stretch here. And then release your left knee down to the mat. Walk your left hand in towards your face. Inhale, right arm lifts. Exhale, tabletop position. Inhale, reach your left arm up towards the ceiling. Make a fist. Roll out your wrist first in one direction and then in the other. Exhale, thread the needle. Left arm comes under right. Lower down to your left shoulder. Reach your right arm out to the top edge of your mat. You're welcome to stay here, or if you want to take it a little bit further, you can bring that right leg out behind you. Maybe challenge your balance by hovering your foot off the floor a little or a lot. Perhaps you start to work into your quad here and your hamstrings by pulling your heel in towards your feet. If you're feeling really steady, you can reach your right hand for your right foot. I am not feeling so steady today. Take an inhale and exhale. Release your right knee towards the mat. Walk your right hand in towards your face. Inhale, left arm lifts. Exhale, tabletop position. Walk your hands one hand press forward. Spread your fingers wide. Reach down into your thumbs and index fingers. Tuck your toes. Lift your knees and your hips. Downward facing dog. For your first down dog of your practice, you can pedal through your feet. Bending one knee and then the other. You can come up onto your tippy toes and then melt your heels closer to the floor. Hands are shoulder width distance apart. Root down into your thumbs, index fingers, and the L and J shape between the two. Make sure your feet are parallel to one another. Wrap your inner thighs towards the back of the room. Inhale, look to the top of your mat. Exhale, tiptoe your feet forward to meet your hands for a ragdoll pose. Feet separate about a hip twist distance apart. Bring a generous bend into your knee and take opposite hand to opposite elbow and sway a little side to side. Nod your head yes for yoga, no for no worries, and then yes again to finish on that positive. Release your hands down towards the floor here in your forward fold. Your knees might straighten, they may stay bent. It's totally up to you and how your low back feels. Start to heel toe your feet closer together so that your big toes touch. Inhale, halfway lift. Bring your hands to your shins or your thighs. Reach forward through the crown of your head. Press your tailbone out behind you. Imagine I could come over and place a glass of water on the center of your spine and it would not spill a drop. Exhale, fold. Inhale, round up the sand, stacking bone on top of bone on top of bone. Head comes up last. Shrug your shoulders up towards your ears and then relax them down your back. Inhale, extend it mountain. Reach your arms up high towards the ceiling. Lengthen through your fingertips. Exhale, forward fold. Hinge from your hips. Lead with your heart. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, extend it mountain. Reach your arms up high overhead. Exhale, hands in prayer at heart center. Bamasihiti. Pause here for just a moment, feeling the connection of your feet to the mat. This is a variation on your mountain pose, which is an expression of your root chakra. Anything that grounds us firmly to the space we're in is a great expression of Muladhara, or that root chakra. It's represented by the color red located at the base of the spine, and pressing down into your feet allows you to bring energy throughout your body. We can find this energy in any pose, but predominantly here in our standing posture. Go ahead and grab your block or your pillow and bring it on the narrow width between your upper thighs. We're going to flow through our sun salutations using the block and engaging the inner thighs in that sacral chakra. Inhale, extend it mountain, reach your arms up high towards the ceiling. 
Exhale, forward fold. Hand from your hip, lead with your heart. Inhale, halfway rest, flat back. Exhale, bring your hands to the mat. Step your feet back to a high plank position. Shoulders over wrists. One long line of energy from the crown of your head through the heels of your feet. Press down into your hands. Take an inhale here. Exhale, lower your knees down to the mat. Try not to lose your block. Then squeeze your elbows in towards your ribs. Lower your chest and your chin in one piece down to the mat. Squeeze your inner thigh. Keep the tops of your feet on the floor. Inhale, baby cobra, Bhujangasana. The first of our back bends. Working into here, your heart chakra. Take an inhale. And exhale, release. Tuck your toes. Either put straight up to a high plank or come through tabletop first. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, look to the top of your mat. Exhale, step your feet forward to meet your hands. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, extend it now and squeeze your block between your thighs. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, hands to the mat. Step or hop your feet back to your high plank. You can continue to drop your knees or find a full chaturanga here. Bend your elbow to 90 degrees, lower halfway down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Press into the tops of your feet. Your block might touch the mat, but your knees and your thighs stay lifted. Gaze forward, spread your collarbones wide. Exhale, downward facing dog. Lift your hips up and back. Inhale, look forward, bend your knees. Exhale, walk or jump your feet forward to meet your hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, extend it, mountain. Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, forward fold. Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands to the mat. High elbow push up, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog, Urdhva Mukha Svanasana. Exhale, downward facing dog. And breathe. You can remove the block from between your thighs, but remember the energy of the thighs squeezing into the block. Inhale, right leg lift towards the ceiling, toes point down towards the mat to square the hips. Exhale, step your right foot between your hands. Inhale, crest. At lunge. Press down into your front foot. Reach your arms up towards the ceiling. Square your hips. Pull your right hip back and your left hip forward. Your back leg might be straight or have a slight bend in the knee. Right knee stacks over your right ankle. Inhale here. Exhale, warrior two. Open up towards the long edge of your mat. Tee out your arms. Bend into your right knee. Press your right knee open towards the right edge of your mat. Inhale and exhale. Flip your front palm towards the ceiling. Inhale, reverse triangle. Reach up and back with your right hand. Left hand travels down your left leg. Right leg straightens so that there's a nice long line of energy down your side body. Exhale, lizard lunge. Cartwheel your hands to the inside of your right foot. Pivot onto the ball of your left foot. Walk your right leg as far over as you need to to feel the stretch. Now you can keep your back leg lifted or you can drop your back knee down this first time through. We'll hang out here just a moment longer as we start to work deeper into that sacral chakra. The sacral chakra located in the hips, represented by the element of water in the color orange. It is our seat of movement expression, transformation. See if you can connect to that feeling here in your lizard lunge. If you like, you can come lower in your lizard lunge if you want to feel more of that stretch or stay high on your hands. Alternatively, you can also bring blocks under your hands or your forearms. 
Take another round of breath here. Inhale and exhale. Tuck your back toes. Lift your back knee. Inhale, three-legged dog. Right leg lifts out high. Now listen carefully. I want you to come forward into a high plank with your right leg lifted, and then just drop your hips down towards the mat. So you're in a one-legged upward facing dog with your left toes tucked. Tucked. Bend your right knee to fan your hip open in your up dog. Drop your toes over to the other side. Drop your hips down. Left hand stays down. Right arm reaches up. Inhale, wild thing. Press into your left hand and your right toes. Left leg stays out long. Right arm reaches up and over. Take an inhale here. Exhale, runner, lunge. Right foot step to the top end of your mat so that you're framing out your front foot. Inhale here. Exhale, Malasana, Yogi Squat. Left foot steps outside of your left hand. Toes, I'm sorry, heels press down into the mat. Toes angle slightly outward. So I'm going to turn to face you for a moment just so you know where you're going. This is your Yogi Squat or Malasana. Notice that my heels are on the mat. For some people, your heels are lifted. In order to get them down, you can take your feet wider apart, or you can bring a block on any height underneath your feet. Notice that I'm still working the inner thighs and working into the sacral chakra, despite not doing all of the work myself. So don't be afraid to use that block. Take an inhale here and exhale. One more inhale, lift up through your chest. Exhale, forward fold. Plant your hands straight in your legs. Bring your feet closer together. Inhale, halfway lift. Flat back. Exhale, hands to the mat. High to push up. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg lift towards the ceiling, square the hips. Exhale, pull your knee in towards your chest, press the mat away, step your foot between your hands. Inhale, crescent lunge. Reach your arms up high towards the ceiling. Squeeze your inner thighs together to find your balance. Press out through your back heel. Now internally rotate your arms so your pinky fingers point towards each other. Inhale here. Exhale, warrior two. I know that you can't see my head in the camera, but you can see most of my body. It's more important that you can hear. So hopefully you can. Take another inhale here. And exhale, settle in deeper to the lunge. Flip your front palm towards the ceiling. Inhale, reverse triangle. Reach up and back, straighten your front leg. Find that nice side body stretch. Exhale, lizard lunge. Cartwheel your hands to the inside of your left foot. Pivot onto the ball of your right foot. Adjust where needed. You can keep that right knee lifted or drop your knee down to the mat. You're welcome to stay high on your hands or get lower onto your forearms. If something deeper is in your practice, such as an arm balance, and you feel warm enough, you're welcome to go there now. Breathe in and breathe out. Use your ujjayi breath, a slight constriction in the back of your throat so that your breath is audible. It sounds like the waves of the ocean crashing on the shore. Inhale, tuck your back toes, lift your back knee. Exhale to prepare. Inhale, three-legged dog, left leg kicks out high behind you. Exhale, come forward into high plank. Drop your hips down towards the mat. Inhale, one-legged, upward facing dog. Right toes are tucked, left leg is lift. Inhale, slam your hips open. And exhale, drop your toes over. Drop your hips down. Inhale, wild thing. Lift your heart. Lift your arm. Breathe. Open your heart. Anahata. Heart chakra. Exhale, runner. Lunge. Step your left foot forward. Inhale, 
Malasana. Right foot steps to the outside of your right hand for that yogi squat. Hips point down towards the floor. Head reaches up towards the ceiling. Every time I'm slightly upside down, I lose my mic. So I do apologize for that. And exhale forward fold. We're going to move through the whole thing one more time, a little bit faster, one breath movement. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands to the mat. High to low push up, chaturanga dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg lift. Exhale, runner's lunge. Inhale, cross that lunge. Reach your arms high. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse triangle. Exhale, lizard lunge. Inhale, three legged dog, right leg left. Exhale, one legged upward facing dog. Inhale, bam your hip open. Exhale, drop your toes over. Inhale, wild thing. Lift your heart, lift your hips. Exhale, runner's lunge, right foot forward. Inhale, malasana, left leg step, hands to heart center. Exhale, forward fold. Other side. Inhale, halfway left. Exhale, hands to the mat. Idle low push up, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg lift. Exhale, runner's lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse triangle. Exhale, lizard lunge. Inhale, three legged dog, left leg lift. Exhale, one legged upward dog. Inhale, span your hip open. Exhale, drop your toes. Inhale, wild thing. Exhale, runner's lunge. Inhale, malasana. Exhale, forward fold. Adding on this time through. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands to the mat. High to low push up. Chaturanga dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg lift. Exhale, runner's lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse triangle. Exhale, lizard lunge and pause here. Drop your back knee down to the mat. Now, if you feel any knee pain, you can bring your back knee onto a block. You can also bring your left hand onto a block here. We're going to go for the quad stretch. So you'll pull your left foot in towards your body and reach your right hand around for your foot. Now, if you're anything like me and your quads are very tight, you may not get it, but keep working towards it. You can always wrap a strap or a scarf around your back foot and reach for the strap instead. The goal is to feel the stretch in your quadriceps. Breathe here, inhale, and exhale. One more inhale, and exhale. Release your foot, turn your left toes out to the left, swing your right leg back behind you for a modified side plank. You can reach your right arm over your right ear for a longer stretch down your side body. Inhale, rise up to stand on your left knee, Exhale, gate pose. Right hand travels down your right leg. Left arm reaches over your left ear. Feel that stretch all the way down into your hips. Inhale, lift you back up. Exhale, half camel pose. Left hand comes to your left foot. Right arm reaches up towards the ceiling. It might reach forward, it might reach back. The idea is to drop your right hip back Press your left hip forward and open up from the top of your chest through your heart. Heart chakra here and a little throat chakra 
if you lift your gaze towards the ceiling. Take an inhale here and exhale. One more inhale, exhale. Cartwheel your hands to the mat. Hide a low push up, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog or baby cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's take it to the other side and then we'll take a break. Inhale, left leg lift. Exhale, runner's lunge. Inhale, warrior two. Oh, I'm sorry. Inhale, crescent lunge. Got ahead of myself. Exhale, warrior two, virabhadrasana. Inhale, reverse triangle. Exhale, lizard lunge. Hands to the inside of your left foot. Drop your right knee down to the mat. Right hand can stay on the floor or come to a block. Right knee can also come to a block. And then go for your quad stretch. So left hand comes towards your oh, right foot. So much hand strength. As I scrunch up my face in consternation, um, so I'm going to take the option. Still not going to get that foot. <laughs> so you do you, boo. <laughs> and leave me here to struggle with my foot. Take an inhale and exhale. One more inhale wherever you are. Exhale, release your foot. Walk your right foot out to the side. Swing your left leg back behind you. Inhale, modify side plank. Left hand is underneath your left shoulder. Left arm might reach over your ear for a longer stretch. Inhale, rise to stand on your knee. Exhale, gate pose. Left hand travels down your left leg. Right arm reaches up and over. Feel that nice side body stretch. You lengthen through your ribs. Inhale, lift you back up. Exhale, half camel pose. Right hand comes to your right foot. Left arm reaches up or back. Press your hips forward. Square them off as much as you can. Square your shoulders and your chest. And then let your head fall back to open through your throat chakra. Take an inhale here. And exhale. Inhale lifts you back up. Exhale, hands to the mat. High to low push-up, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Drop your knees to the mat. Child's pose, balasana. Press your sit bones towards your heels. Lower your third eye down to the floor. And breathe here. Take a moment just to press your third eye into the mat and center your intuition. You're welcome to stay right here or maybe pause to grab a drink of water, wipe sweat, whatever is calling to you. And then we'll move on with our last sequence before we come to our peak pose. Right, my so we'll meet in child's pose. Hips pressing towards your heels, fingertips reaching forward. This can be a passive pose by allowing your elbows to rest heavy on the mat, or an active pose by reaching your fingertips further, pressing your sit bones towards your heels, and feeling that stretch all the way up through your back. Know that you are tapping into your heart chakra energy here with your the back of your heart reaching out to the universe. See if you can come back to the intention that you set at the beginning of your practice and check in with yourself. Have you been able to focus? Have you been able to meditate on this intention? Can you send out all of this love and this energy that you've cultivated on your mat so far? out to the universe to someone out there who needs it most. Take a deep inhale through your nose. All the mouth exhale. Inhale, tabletop. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, look to the top of your mat. Exhale, walk, jump, or float your feet to meet your hands. 
Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose. You can pass it up. Bend your knees, reach your arms high, sink your hips low. Shift your weight back into your heels so you can see all the hip toes. Maybe lift them up, give them a little wiggle, and then press them back down into the floor. Exhale, chair plank. Sweep your arms back behind you, palms face the mat. Keep your heart lifted and your weight in your heels. Inhale, one leg at mountain, left knee lift. Bring your left knee in line with your left hip, flex your toes, reach your arms up towards the ceiling. Exhale, dancer's pose. Left foot comes behind you as you reach for the big toe edge side of your foot. Right arm stays reaching up. And then start to hinge forward as you press your left foot out behind you. Now, if you need to hold on to something, <laughs> oops, that's my dog. <laughs> you can press, um, you can hold on with your right hand, pressing out with your left foot. See if you can open up the hips and square the shoulders. Take an inhale here. Exhale, candy cane. Start to bring your right hand down towards the mat. So if your right hand is not touching the mat, a block on any height, but usually the tallest height, is going to be a great way to get you into this sugar cane pose. Whew. So sugar cane or candy cane, also known as Ardha Chandra Chapasana, can be both a back bond and a quad stretch. The left hip stacks on top of the right. You press out through your left foot. Take an inhale here. Exhale, warrior two. Step your left foot back. Find space between your feet. Keep the bend into your right knee. Flip your front palm towards the ceiling. Inhale, reverse warrior. Reach up and back. Exhale, cartwheel your hands to the mat. Inhale, sweep your right leg out high behind you, three-legged dog. Exhale, one-legged chaturanga. Inhale, upward-facing dog. Exhale, downward-facing dog. Before we move on to the other side, inhale, come forward to your high plank. We'll lower to the belly for a count of five, four, three, two, and one. Rest on your belly. Rest on your favorite cheek. Breathe here. Take an inhale and exhale. Bring your chin down to the floor. Bend both knees and reach behind you for your feet, for your floor bow. Now, this is not in your practice yet. You can always bring a strap around your feet or take one foot at a time. Bring your knees within the frame of your body. Keep your gaze towards the floor to start. Take an inhale here, and as you exhale, sigh out all your stale air. Inhale, lift up your chin and your chest. Press your feet into your hands until maybe your knees lift up off the mat. Squeeze your inner thighs in towards each other. So engage in your sacral chakra here, your power chakra, your heart chakra, and your throat chakra. Breathe throughout the energy centers of your body. Take another inhale. Lift up a little higher. Exhale, release. Rest on the opposite cheek. Windshield wiper your legs from side to side. Bend your legs back out behind you. Tuck your toes. Bring your hands under your shoulders. Engage your quad. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, travel to meet your hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose. Utkatasana. Exhale, chair plank. Inhale, one leg up mountain, right knee lift. Exhale, dancers pose on the right side. Reach behind you for the big toe edge side of your foot. Start to press your foot out behind you. Focus on something that's not moving, a spot on the wall, an object on the floor, something to help you focus your attention, your drifty point. You can stay here or start to hinge your weight forward until your left hand 
comes to your block. If you fall out, like I did on both sides, no worries. Just come back into it. Whew. Holy hips today. All right. So in your Ardha Chandra Chapasana, note that if the floor is far away, the side of your couch also will work. <laughs> the one good thing about practicing at home is we have lots of options. Take an inhale here, wherever here is. Exhale, warrior two. Step it back softly, take out your arms, lunge a little bit deeper into your left knee. Flip your front palm, inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, cartwheel your hands to the mat. Inhale, three-legged dog, left leg lift. Exhale, one-legged chaturanga, akopada. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, come forward to your high plank. Lower your knees to the mat, take them wide and bring your big toes to touch. Drop your hips towards the floor, lift your heart, hanging cobra. So this is a pretty intense back bend, particularly if you can get your head to your feet. So you can see I'm nowhere near it, <laughs> but you are welcome to try. Open through your heart and breathe. Open through your throat chakra. Also a seat of creativity. Take another inhale here, wherever here is. Exhale, child's pose. Press your sit bones towards your heels. Reach your fingertips forward. Take an inhale through your nose. Sigh it out. Inhale, come up to hero's pose. Knees together. Seat resting on your heels. So our peak pose today is camel pose in Strasana. There are several ways that you can take a camel um, from the most basic to the most advanced. Today for our practice, uh, since we're not face to face, um, for safety reasons, we're gonna start with the most basic. If you know you suffer from vertigo, I do not recommend letting your head drop back in camel pose. For everyone else, give it a try. If you don't like it, it does get easier over time. We will use a block as well, and I will offer you several options. So there is a very beginner option and a more advanced option, and either one is fine. So we'll begin on your knees with your feet about, I'm sorry, with your knees about hip width distance apart, and your block will come between your thighs on that narrow width, just like when we started class. So we're squeezing the energy of the inner thighs in. Now, your feet can stay like mine, untucked, or you can tuck your toes under. This, as you can see, makes your heel a little bit higher, easier to grab. We're not gonna go all the way back this first time through, so whatever helps you feel more steady. Hands come to your low back for support, Squeeze your elbows towards each other. Cross your hips forward. Lift your heart up. Lift your gaze up. This is the first of your camel's pulse. You want to lift more from your middle and upper back than you do from your low back. So your hands support the low back and we're lifting from the top of your chest. Maybe you start to lean back a little bit further. Maybe you let your head up. Take an inhale here and exhale. Squeeze the block. This will help protect your low back. Inhale, drive back up. Head comes up last. And exhale to sit back onto your heels. Let your chin come towards your chest to relax the back of your neck. So in camel pose, we are opening up through the heart chakra, the throat chakra, and the third eye chakra. So three of the four upper level chakras here. 
inhale, rise back up onto your knees. We'll keep the block for the second time through. Once again, your choice with your feet. Press your hands to your low back, push your hips forward, lift your heart. You're welcome to stay here. Or maybe you bring one hand back and then the other hand back to your feet. If your feet still feel far away, you can always bring blocks to the outside of your feet and the blocks will be taller than your heels. Keep pressing your hips forward and lifting from your heart. Breathe. If you can't catch a deep breath, come out of it a little bit until you can breathe fully again. This is as much about your breath as it is about how flexible you are. When you're ready to come out, your hands will come back to your back and you'll come straight up rather than off to the side. And then once again, sit back on your heels. You can move the block off to the side and perhaps lower your head down to the floor in case you feel dizzy or just to unwind that very intense back bend. We'll take one more camel pose. You can take it with your block or without your block. But try not to let your knees come wider than they were with the block if you're not using it. So what I was trying to explain before is you can always bring your block on the tallest height just outside your feet. And then when you press your hips forward and reach back, you can reach for your block and still experience some of that heart opening. And breathe. So take whatever variation calls to you. Keep pressing your hips forward. Open through your heart. Maybe gaze is lifted. Maybe gaze is forward. Whatever feels right. Inhale to come up nice and slow and exhale back to your child's pose. Take a full round of breath here. And then rise up once again to your knees. So, so we'll take a reclined hero's pose. If you have tight quads, sometimes sitting on a block, so the goal is to get your um, feet down to the mat. I'm about two inches from the mat, so I'm going to bring the block underneath my feet. You can use a pillow, you can stack two blocks, you can take the block on the tallest height. It really makes no difference. We just want to be sure that we're protecting the knees here. So if this hurts your knees, take it one leg at a time. Um, rather than both knees at the same time. You want your knees to come together and your knees to stay flat on the floor. You're resting on the top edge of your foot rather than having your feet go off, off to the side. This is plenty um, of a stretch here, so you're welcome to stay right here. If it feels good to you, you can bring your hands down to the mat behind you. Maybe you're able to lower down to your forearms I don't think I am. <laughs> Maybe you're able to lower all the way onto your back. I'm afraid I won't be able to get back up. The dog will jump up. <laughs> so here in whichever variation of your hero's pose you chose, take a moment to go inward. Maybe visualize the rainbow of your chakras. Starting with the red, moving up into orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and purple at the crown of your head. Notice if they are all aligned and equal, perhaps one is shining brighter than the rest, or maybe one is dimmer than the rest. See if you can concentrate your energy on that chakra. Breathe into it, breathe life into it.
when you're ready to come back up, you'll press back up to your hands and to your feet. Remove any blocks from underneath you. Bring your legs to the side and lower all the way down to your back. Take your right ankle to your left knee. Flex your toes in towards your knee. You can stay here or you can draw your left side towards your body for a deeper stretch. That tapping sound you hear is my dog. You can also find some movement through your left ankle if that feels right. Oh, I love you, baby. We sacrifice for having more room is having a furry friend to love me on the floor. I will take that any day. <laughs> You're welcome to stay just like this, or maybe take your right hand in between your legs, interlace your fingers around your chin, pull your legs closer to your body. Release your grip on your legs. Let your right leg cross all the way over the left and let both knees fall over to the left side. Tee out your arms or go close your arms. You can look up towards the ceiling or over your right shoulder for a deeper twist. Inhale, bring your knees back up to center, uncross your legs, and we'll take it to the other side. Left ankle comes over your right knee for that figure four shape. You can stay here, or you can pull your right thigh in towards your body. Maybe find some movement through your right foot and ankle after having the compression of sitting back towards your feet. It might feel good. And if you want a little more, you can reach your left arm between your thighs, interlace your fingers around your shin, pull your shin towards your thigh and your thigh towards your body. Release your grip on your leg, let your left leg cross all the way over the right. And drop both knees over to the right side of your body. You can bring a block under your knees or under your feet for additional support. Inhale, bring your knees back up to center, uncross your legs, and find a happy baby pose. Reach for the inside or the outside of your feet. Lift your feet up towards the ceiling as you pull your knees down towards the floor. You can rock a little bit side to side. You can bend one knee as you straighten the opposite leg, and then switch sides for a final hamstring stretch in your Ananda Balasana. Take any movements you need to complete your practice today. And then when you're ready, and only when you're ready, find your way to Shavasana, your final resting pose. Let your legs come out long on your mat. Let your feet fall open to the side. Hands by your side, palms face up, eyes gently closed. We'll be here for just a few moments. I'll bring you out when it's time. Here in your Shavasana, connect or reconnect with your crown chakra, the top of your head, knowing that this is your connection to the universe. Allow all of your chakras to light up equally as you send your energy and your love out into the universe. Shavasana.
we will stay here as long as you like. But if you're ready to move on with the rest of your day, a sense of movement through your fingers and your toes. Take small circles with your wrists and your ankles. And with your next inhale, reach your arms long overhead as though you are awakening for the first time today. Before rolling onto your right side, using your right arm as a pillow, eyes gently closed, allowing your heart to remain open to receive whatever message the universe is sending you with. Reconnect with your intention. Know that you can come back to this place and tap into your chakras, your energy centers, in order to balance and heal them at any time. And then when you're ready, press up to a seat at the top of your mat, eyes closed, hands in prayer at heart center. We'll seal today's practice with a unifying breath followed by the sound of OM. Take a deep inhale through your nose. Open mouth, exhale. <sighs> inhale for OM. OM. your prayer to third eye center, the spot of intuition in the center of your forehead. The love, light, student, and teacher in me honors and respects the love, light, student, and teacher in you. Thank you for sharing your practice with me. Namaste. Thank you for joining me for this chakra balancing flow. If you have any questions, please let me know.